hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is mashudu chipuriso and this is by mashudu where we talk all things natural hair we do diys and we talk about life in general in today's video i want to tell you about the time when i found out that my identity document was duplicated the reason i'm making this video is because back in the day in south africa there was a time where people were finding out that they were married to people they didn't know of or in my case i found that my identity document was duplicated i found out that my id was duplicated is because one day while i was at work i received an email that had a link to the department of home affairs that link was saying that you could check using your id number to see if you have a duplicated id or you are married without your knowledge so i entered my id and it came up as a duplicate <laughs> i couldn't believe it i I, I i i entered my id number multiple times thinking it was false but it came up as a duplicate the system was only showing that id duplicated there was no further information on the website on what to do the only option that i had was to go to the home affairs offices uh, when i arrived i told them my story that I entered my ID through their system and their system is saying that my ID is duplicated and their response was just apply for a new ID and to me that did not make sense that I can just drop everything and now be applying for my ID I wanted ex an explanation I didn't want to take that step without a proper explanation that made sense to me all they could say to me was the best thing that you can do is just apply for a new id and that is the only way you can resolve this issue and you move on with your life they didn't want to give me an explanation and which meant that i i still had to pay for this id for the mistake that was within their office i wasn't happy I wasn't satisfied with the response however I asked them what is it that I need to apply for this ID because um, this ID number I've had it I don't know for how for as long as I can remember and it's on my birth certificate so if it's sitting on my birth certificate how do I now then apply for an ID because you need the birth certificate in order for you to process a new id for me they then told me that i needed to bring my clinic immunization card and a letter from the school that i went to when i started with grade one i left the office that day i wasn't happy with the response that they gave me i still felt i deserved and i needed answers to my questions and they were not coming forth and i went to another branch and the day i went there this time was during the week i was coming from the office i i left the office early and i told myself that i'm gonna go and try and resolve this issue once and for all my parents had sent me the letter from the school and all the information that they needed from my parents side i then went to this office when i arrived I explained my story to the, to the lady that was working at reception and then she told she referred me to someone when I got to that person a person told me that it needed her supervisor so she couldn't help me because on her side she only sees you know things that are right there on the screen she cannot go to the back end to see what's going on I was going to explain my situation to her supervisor so I, I went in, I explained my situation. The supervisor took my documents and looked at them. And he said to me, oh, I have a child your age. And I said, oh, okay. Thinking he's going to be understanding. Then said to me, okay, he can see on the system what had happened. He asked me um, if I had stayed in a particular area in my life. 
and I had not stayed there and I think at that time I had not even been to that area I said no I've never been there and he said to me there's an address listed here have you tried to apply for a passport I said no I've never tried to apply for a passport and he said to me okay it shows here on the system that someone had tried to apply for a passport five years prior to me coming to their offices meaning that these people had been aware of the fact that my id was documented for a period of over five years and they didn't even bother to contact me to let me know of the issue so they just said to me five years ago there was an attempt to create a passport that is when it was picked up that this id number was duplicated so they couldn't issue the passport am i sure that it was not me who tried to apply for the passport i said no it was not me these are my names i have one name and i've never lived in an area that you're talking about let alone try and go to the home office offices this man then kind of gave me the name of the person that had duplicated my id but he said to me he was not supposed to give me that kind of information so okay i left it at that there was nothing i was going to do and there was nothing that i could do and he said to me the only re the only thing is to apply for a new id i was still not satisfied at that point at that point as well um i felt like there was more that could have been done or more that could be done about my situation i mean my things were in that id number and it meant i needed for me it was like do i have to change everything about myself just because someone did something and it was not even my fault and the man said no there's nothing that he could do except me apply for the id and then he said how old are you kind of remember how old i was at the time and he said to me are you married at that particular at that particular time i was in the process of getting married um but we had not gone to home affairs yet and then he saw he looked at my fingers i saw a ring and he's like ah and then he, he laughed. laughed it wasn't funny to me it wasn't funny he laughed and said huh um i bet he's going to run away now that you have issues with your id do you think that he's gonna understand your story when you tell him that your id was duplicated don't you think he's gonna think that you were married and now you want to make it look like you didn't know about the marriage I bet you he's gonna run away wow at that moment i looked at this man and i thought you just told me you had a daughter my age and you are saying these words to me wow and he then said since your boyfriend is gonna leave you how about you consider me wow i looked at him and i'm like you just told me that you're old enough to be my father and you are saying this to me are you not ashamed and he said to me i mean there's nothing we can do at this point the and there's literally no, you can't get married when things are sitting like this you need to resolve these issues first but i don't think your boyfriend will be willing to wait for such nonsense hmm. after he said these things to me i decided to walk away i didn't proceed with the application or i left and as i was driving out off i can't remember if i was going back to the office or going home at the time but i remember the direction that i was going and i was crying in the car and driving speaking to my fiance in the car he was trying to calm me down like i was so hysterical at that point to everything that this man has said and everything that i'm going through because of this issue with my id which was not even my fault the whole thing was too emotional for me because because i felt like my life was upside down because of now this id number it was not easy and i told myself i'm gonna take my time going back to these offices i needed to make sense of this whole thing maybe i was reading too much into it i don't know but for me it was just too much somebody gave me phone numbers to call and inquire you know 
deeper into what happened to my IT and I did get a hold of somebody who tried to help me but then he said he could only explain to me what could have happened and that on his side there's nothing that he can do the 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 issue is there the issue my id number was already flagged before i came in like the other guy had said it was flagged five years prior and so he the other guy advised me that the only way to do to to resolve the issue is to just go and apply for a new id that way that is the only time when the office would now officially look into my case okay i took my time it took me i don't know it took me a very long time to huh? finally decide to you know what let me go and apply for this new id let them do their investigation and see what comes out of it at the end of the day when it comes time for me to get married i don't want to have such issues so i spoke to my fiance and we agreed that i was now going to go to head office straight now because the issue from the guy from the discussion from the discussion that i had had with the guy on the phone he told me that the issue came through head office and it's them that can best resolve the issue and if it's coming directly from there it should be quicker my fiance then suggested that he comes along because i used to get too emotional when he came to this issue me walking away from the situation all the time is not helping the issue which was true i wasn't helping the issue um, by walking away but all i wanted was answers at the time and because i was not getting the answers me taking the step to apply for the id meant that i have accepted whatever that's happening and that was it whatever that they're gonna come up with i'm just gonna take it and move on with my life we walked into the office there were about three people that were working so i went to the first person and the first person said no they couldn't help me it's not a new id issue uh, i must go and see someone else and then there was this other lady i think she was issuing out um ids she wasn't taking in applications so i filled in the form i sat down and in the queue i think there were about two people in front of me and i was starting to feel to get nervous <laughs> i don't know why i was getting nervous about it but i was uh, inside i was starting to feel the way i used to feel whenever i went to this office and i kept talking to my fiance and he kept saying calm down calm down it will be fine and then failing to calm myself down i decided to start praying i started praying there and my to my surprise the guy that i was supposed to go to decides um after helping the the person that was in right that was right in front of me he said he's going to lunch and he closed his um his space meaning the lady that was issuing the ids was the only one that was left lucky for me there was no one else to collect ids so she called me i went there and I explained to her that oh i was told to go to that other guy i think i'm gonna have to wait for him he said he's going to lunch and she said what is it that you are here for i said i explained my story to her and she said don't worry you are in the right place this woman was so calm she was so calm she just started by calming me down she said to me i understand the situation i hear you just those words for me meant a lot another thing is that at this particular point i was no longer looking for answers I feel I had gone so far looking for answers that I don't think there were any more answers that I could get. My thing was that I wanted them to confirm that I could continue using my ID number. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to apply for a new one, for a new ID. I could just continue with it and they will sort the issue with the other person. 
and i think all along that those are the words that i wanted to hear when i went to the other two offices those words never came but this lady said to me the only thing that we can do is for if you apply for the new id we will then look into your matter i'm not promising you that you will keep your id number however we deal with these issues every now and then and it will be fine you know it will be okay don't worry we will resolve them then another lady passed behind me and greeted her and i turned to look at her and the um the lady that was assisting me said to me can i have two minutes can you give me two minutes let me talk to this lady and then i'll come back to you i agreed she went spoke to the lady and then she came back and then she said to me the lady that i just spoke to had a similar issue with you and i feel that made me even more calmer to know that i'm not the only one going through this and she said yours is even better because your parents are still alive hers was worse because her parents were no longer alive that gave me a bit more comfort and assurance she then said to me yours is not going to be that hectic because your parents are still alive i proceeded to apply for the new id i paid and i think the other point okay it's 140 rands i know it's not that much especially for someone who's working for the fact that i had to pay for something that was done in that office didn't really sit well with me but there was nothing i could do they needed to receive payment and nobody else was going to pay except for me who's looking for this id it probably took about three months for me to receive an sms to say that my id is ready for collection during the time also during the time when i was asking questions um the guy that i had called also told me that they didn't have my fingerprints on the system on this day that i'm filming this video i found a piece of paper inside my old id and that piece of paper had fingerprints on it so my question is are those not my fingerprints i mean that piece of paper had fingerprints but they're saying they didn't have records of my fingerprints i received an sms during the week that my id was ready for collection i decided that i will go on a saturday because home office used to work on saturdays on the saturday that i went to go and collect my id my phone wasn't working my battery had died i couldn't find my charger and so the lady refused to give me my id because she said she wanted to see the sms even though i had a receipt that showed payment and application for an id and it also had a reference number i think that reference number was also on the sms the lady refused and said she's not taking the receipt she wants to see the sms on my phone that is how i couldn't collect my id i did explain a bit of it on a video about how my charger disappeared the night before i went to collect the id it took me another two weeks for me to find time and be able to go and collect my id and so when i went there um i showed them the sms and this time i found a different person sure. what had happened two weeks prior and she said no that person was not supposed to do that the the receipt was sufficient for her to issue the id when she brought my id document it was accompanied by a letter from the office saying that my id number had changed and that is how i found out that i had been issued with a new id number and that is it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button share comment and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one bye